Alright, what's up YouTube? Today's video I'll be showing you a cool effect you can do with the Halo 2 Anniversary Forward Scripting Tools. Kind of like the uh, explosion type stuff you can do in Battlefield, kind of like the Levolution. And cool thing is you can do it over and over again. So you can just sit there and just keep blowing them up if you, if you really uh, wanted to. Alright, so let's go into Forge here. Game over. Victory. Suggest if you just want to see the Forge, you could probably skip forward into the video about 30 seconds because it's going to take some time to do that. Do, do, do. Alright. Alright, well now it's just loading. It might have frozen maybe. Alright, no. It's just loading. It's just taking a little while. Alright. Now let's go into the Halo 2 Forge. You're going to Forge. Halo 2. And then let's go over to my map that I have. I was working on this cops and robbers map a long time ago whenever Halo 2 or Halo uh, Master Chief Collection came out but there was a bunch of problems and I was working on it with a friend but then he stopped getting on so that's that and the other problem is as I have the building is I'll show the building real fast is I ran out of walls because I had to use a bunch of the, the walls for the curve on the side of the building so I show you guys as soon as it loads up you guys can tell me what you think this will also help me finish up the map because I plan doing a cops and robbers just like Halo 3's cops and robbers was except with like all the scripting that you can do now with escapes and all that having to get to like certain control panels to Activate the doors to escape or get to like the uh, the prison's like control room. Alright, so this is a building real fast. As I ran out of walls using them on this building right here. Tell me what you guys think if I should keep those walls or if I should delete them because inside the building isn't all that much. But that's for another video. So I'll show off the rest of this in another video. So technically what I did is I made three of these like three of the explosion volume large invisibles but I did it because I kind of I did three of them because I kinda of want the explosion to be somewhat big so I wanted to make sure I had all that and then I have it set on the uh, scripting the broadcast channel 16 let's see if I can get rocks to spawn they shouldn't they might not spawn actually or they fell to the uh, ground. Let's see what happens here. Alright. Yep. Alright. So what I'll just show you instead is I'll do it with the uh, tree here. So say if I want this tree to spawn, then I put the spawn channel as the same broadcast channel because broadcast channel is where it broadcasts to in the how you say the uh hang on let me look at it real fast all right and the spawn channel is also listening for a broadcast channel and as soon as a broadcast channel activates and it says true then it makes a spawn channel or the spawn part of the object say let go to true and say okay now let's spawn the object at this position of where it was at just like how this broadcast channel is on 16 this also over here is on 16 as well so broadcast is to sit there and send and receive as well as the spawn channel I have not messed around with the power channel much but it's the same thing pretty much is they all pretty much all go around the same channels or go around the same basis in a way is as soon as I find out more about the power channel then I'll let you guys know I'll make a video on it but 
plan on making some more tutorial videos on scripting for Halo 2 Anniversary, help some people out, do some Forge stuff, even do some basic videos maybe later on today. I might maybe upload some. But that's the video for now. And alright, thanks for watching in Haggadah.